Hello, welcome to the channel, Big H on Motors. I'm of course Big H, and today we're having a look at something very, very special. We're having a look at a 1930s Rolls Royce 20 horsepower Doctor's Coupe, which the guy has owned for, how long did you say he's owned it for? 55 years. So uh, we're in for a bit of a treat, so let's go and have a look at this absolute stunning Rolls Royce. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm lost for words. No, I don't happen very often, you're right. Proper old English noises. Oh, here we go. She's coming out. Oh, my word. I'm not gobsmacked very often, but I am at the minute. Oh, my. Look at this. Oh, my God. Okay, hold it there then. Yeah, but yeah. Just to make sure you've got plenty of room, that's all. Yeah. 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 Oh, look at this. So oh, man. See this jump? Straight six. Listen to how smooth it is. 90 yeah. years old. What model? Oh, it's also called a 20 horsepower. Okay. They came out in 23 as the owner driver cars. Rolls Royces were normally about a third bigger, the Phantoms yeah. or Silver yeah. Coast, and they had their own chauffeurs. Yeah. Yes. But then in 1923, a lot of the sort of doctors, middle ranking people wanted to drive their own cars. Yeah. They brought yeah. out these smaller ones. Well, it's absolutely magnificent. 20 horsepower, did you say? That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know, I was just saying that the, the lights, my, um, my grandfather used to have a Bentley when I was a kid and the lights are just the same kind of Lucas lights that they used to have on it. So yeah. Pardon? No, uh, some vandals broke into his garage and set it on fire in the uh, early 80s. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, 93 years old. Rolls Royce 20 horsepower. Uh, guys had it for 55 years. He bought it was 23 years old. One absolute honour. Have a look at such a beautiful, beautiful car. Now we're not going to get to take it out because it's worth a lot of money. And uh, let's have a look inside. Absolutely beautiful seats at the back. I'd love to, if you don't mind. I might, yeah. Yeah. The suicide doors. That is beautiful. I'm frightened to. <laughs> right, we're going to go and have a sit inside. Here we go.
Oh wow. Rolls Royce London Derby. Look at the gauges. That's fire extinguisher down there. You can see the Rolls Royce plaque. There's the uh, plaque from where it was purchased from. You got the uh, retard and choke on the dash, on the steering wheel, should I say? But look at the gauges. 93 years old. Absolutely magnificent. Of course, he's got the soft top roof. There's the gentleman that owns it. A very, very nice chap. You can see everything inside. The beautiful, beautiful blue seats. But uh, this thing is magnificent. Look at this. The floor. Beautiful, beautiful carpet. You would have. Uh, you would have uh, knew you were of, uh, of some importance having one of these in the uh, 1930s. Let's go back outside and have a look. Let me have a look at the Rolls Royce 20 horsepower for the suicide doors. Let's close one of these doors. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> it does, yeah. Not the least plastic thing. Oh, that is magnificent. Proper clunk, proper thud. As you can see, we've got the fun tail exhaust system. Listen to that. Look at the beautiful rear lights. This thing is magnificent. Look at the quality, the work that's come into this. 93 years old. All the details. There we go, the Rolls Royce hub with the uh, multi-spoke lattice wheels. Tires look like I could probably do a replacing. We've got the beautiful running boards. Going up to that beautiful swooping external wing. A super smooth six cylinder Rolls Royce 20 horsepower engine. The mohair hood. But uh, like I say, the guy bought this when he was 23 years old in 1965 and he's done it ever since. He's done all the mechanical work himself, but the rest of the restoration work has been done by uh, others. Let's have a look at the front. Did you get the size of the engine? Yeah, three litres. Three litres, three litres, three litres three litre straight six. 20 horsepower. Oh, 20. <laughs> so you need in something like this, don't it? Yeah. It's about the arrival, not how you get there. It's magnificent. Oh, Yeah. I took her down and I literally got her up to 60 miles an hour. Yeah. Out, you know, this sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. Uh, and then I worked out uh, the actual, that's the practical speed. I worked out the theoretical speed with the gear ratios, the power size, the engine RPM. And that came out also at 3000 RPM. That's also exactly 60 miles an hour. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, I mean, you can. If you cruise at 50, you're yeah. thrashing her, yeah. but you're not. But you're holding up people behind you. Yeah. Ideal cruising is about 45, 47. Remember the old lorries used to just float. Yes. Oh, almost yeah. like balance. Yeah. Uphill and down. That's down. right. Yeah. Well, about 45, 47. But the trouble is, if you're on a, even a minor road, you're holding up people behind you. So yeah. You're a bit embarrassed. But she never was a. She's not a racer. She's exactly. It's. Uh, in a car like this, you don't feel embarrassed. You could go no, you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> never. You can go up the side of a hill in this in uh, four steers. You've got lots of talk in it, I suppose, yeah. Incredible talk. Well, they both go for these car shows regularly, don't you? Mm. Got quite a few, yeah. What was it like when you purchased it? Was it the same colour or was it the original colour? No, no, no. Colour it, was, uh, say it was a wreck. All the, body, all the, uh, the ash body had, uh, had gone. Yeah. Um, I mean, I chose the... Uh, what's it? I forget. It's a, I chose the woodwork I wanted polished first. Yeah. Then I chose the leather to match the woodwork. Right. Yeah. And then I chose the paint to match the leather. Yeah. Then I chose the black wings, and I went into that. Was it Auto Factors and uh, was it Factory Road in Hinkley? Okay. Yeah. Uh, to get black paint, and said, "Well, we've got 
60 types of black paint, what type of black paint <laughs> yeah, do you want? Yeah. And I said, well, I want, in railway terms, the London Northwestern, like a blueberry yeah. black. I don't yeah. really jet black, but yeah. you know, a dark blueberry black. Yeah. And I came in uh, and they said, well, I know they're very colour for you, and this is what they call a Lamborghini dark blue. You wouldn't think so. Oh, okay. Just, just as a black. Right. But if your lady is not listening, if you're not listening, if you just sort of pretend to close your ears, yeah. The way that the, the job they did it when their cars polished up in the 1950s, 60s, when I was a very, very young man. Yeah. Ladies, when you had black silk stockings yeah. and that sheen on the thigh, you used to send me into raptures. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ever so rude, by the way, that's Anne. That's yeah, that's Anne, that's more on Paul, by the way. Sorry, I think my son is just leaving. Sorry, that's all right, sorry, I don't want to hold you up in any way. Wow. There's a story. There's a story. How about this, John? It's magnificent, isn't it? Are you enjoying this one, Unbelievable. Do you like the bumpers? Yeah, the bumpers are fantastic. They're like spring bumpers. They're like springs, aren't they? Yeah. They look like uh, leaf springs, the way they're curled at the end. Yeah. And you've got the uh, indicators there, which we wouldn't have had on originally, I suppose. Are you saying that you don't need That's all right. I'm sure that you'd be quite happy to come over and take them out. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. And you take him for a Yeah. Got the rolls assemble them there. So you, um, yeah, I'd be quite. I'd be quite happy to do that for him. Just yeah. Anytime. <laughs> We're gonna have another look inside. But I mean, that colour blue is beautiful on the seats. Did you hear what he was saying about how he picked it? Yeah. Up? Yeah. Oh look, look. There goes back to a, a different area. An ashtray in the back of the seat. <laughs> Oh, look at, oh my God, it's gorgeous. There's no gaps in this one. Either. No. But yeah, that harks back to a different era. It's complete, isn't it? Yeah. Ashtrays in the seats. You can see why it gets in that side of the sides over. Yeah. Really. I just didn't want them to go too far back. But they, even the pillarless doors, I mean, look at the wood on the doors. Yeah. I just didn't want them to go too far back. Yeah. I'm sure you want to still Yeah. Everything, I mean, even the, the door handles, I mean, look, they're just so ornate and the rear view mirror. Yeah, I know, yeah. That beautiful, look at the roof, look at the, the roof line, it's... Now, I've been told to do this like a proper gentleman and thump it. So that's what I've done. <laughs> Sorry if I'm waffling on a bit, I'm just, I uh, didn't actually expect to get to, to see this this quick, so... But again, look at those beautiful bumpers, the way they're curled round on the ends. 55 years, 55 years yeah. Yeah, a bit and Lucas headlights, which I keep going back to, which my granddad had on his Bentley before some horrible swine decided to. Uh... There we go, that all important Rolls Royce badge. Yeah, we're going to put the old beauty back into its garage. It loves, does, doesn't it? It's so smooth, the engine. Yeah, but I mean, hardly any garage. Yeah, yeah, garage. yeah, yeah it's, uh, have a, as you say, like a red X type thing, isn't it? Yeah. Otherwise, the valves can get a bit uh, burnt up, can't they? Oh, hold on. Let me grab that for you. Thank yeah, you. okay. That's it, shut it. Give it a proper gentleman <laughs> slam. Oh, listen to it. Hey, if I sound that good when I'm 93 years old, don't think I will. And there she goes, back into her hibernation. What an absolute treat. Absolute treat. There we go, back to sleep, fantastic.